Man box. No, 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 no. Oh, whoa, whoa. Special delivery for a special patient. I've got some pretty cool wheels. You're watching Carrie Hands. Can we go, can we go, can we finally go? Very soon, Antonio. I just have to wait for my sisters to go with us. What's taking them so long? Probably Isabella's 17-step beauty routine. Oh, yeah, that takes forever. And Louisa is probably, oh, lifting weights. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, here they come now. I just had the best workout routine. <laughs> what did I tell you? I feel totally pumped and ready to go to the playground. Uh, where's Isabella? You know how long Isabella takes. So, so long. Okay guys, I am ready to go. I only completed 15 out of 17 of my beauty steps so I could hurry up and get to the playground. Well, we sure do appreciate that. Let's go. All right, let's go guys. So pretty outside today. Woohoo, this swing is all mine, all mine, all mine. Remember, if somebody comes, you need to share the swing, the sandbox, everything at the playground. I don't want to share. <laughs> you have to, honey, or else we'll have to go home. Oh, hooray, we're finally here. And you are in luck, Antonio. There's only one other child here, so there's lots of room for you to play. That's awesome. I'll still make sure to take turns if she wants to get on the slide or the swing or the sandbox. Antonio, you are so good at taking turns. All right, go have fun. Woohoo! Where did my sisters go? Woo! Did you really need to pick all 227 flowers on the way here? You know me. I just love flowers, huh? Let's go relax while Antonio plays. This sandbox looks so fun. I can build sand castles. Ooh, if I push this turtle into the sand and then lift it out of the sand. Oh, so cool. I made this awesome turtle shape. I'm gonna try that with this starfish. Ugh, push it in there. And now lift it out. Let's see how it looks. Whoa, I did it. I made an awesome starfish. I'm gonna dig in here. This is so much fun. No, no, no. My sandbox. No, 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 no. Wait, where are you going? Come back here. Remember to share. This is my sandbox. You cannot play in here. Only I can play in here. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe we can play together. We can take turns with the toys. I don't take turns. I bet you can learn to take turns. Here, you can play with whatever you want first, and then we'll trade toys when you're done playing with it. Mm, how about... No! I am so sorry. I'm teaching her to take turns and well... It's taking a little while for her to, you know, grasp the concept. What's going on over there? I better make sure everything's okay. My sandbox, my sandbox! Ah! It's my sandbox! It's okay, it's okay. Just breathe, breathe, and whatever you do, do not kick anything. No! Antonio, is everything okay? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Mirabella, are you okay? I'm sure I'm fine. Just let me try to stand up. Ow! Ow! Ow, ow, ugh. No, I'm not okay. I am so, so sorry. Oopsie. Apologize right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, can you get my sisters to help me? Okay, I'll be right back. Somebody said you needed help. Are you just on the ground taking a nap? No, I hurt my ankle. I, I stepped on that bucket. Oh, you're actually hurt. Louisa, Louisa, come on. Okay, little sister. Don't worry. I got gotcha. you. Thanks, Louisa. Don't worry, guys. I got her. I'll carry her to the hospital. I'll meet you there. Did she say carry her to the hospital? Yeah, Louisa is super strong. She's got this. Can I am so, so sorry this happened. I remember when there were toddlers in our house. Well, in case you need anything, let me give you my number. We'll bring over a casserole or something for dinner. I just feel horrible. Oh, that's okay. I think we'll be fine. My mom's cooking is very healing. Oh, that sounds cool. But again, I am so sorry this happened. It's okay. Toddlers will be toddlers. Okay, Antonio, let's get to the hospital and make sure Maribel's okay. I gotta say, I kind of forgot how far away the hospital was. I'm sorry, am I super heavy? No, you're light as a feather. It's just a long walk. Oh, hey, look, here comes an ambulance. Hi there, Louisa and Mirabel. Yes, how did you know our names? I got a call from the playground and they said I would see a woman carrying another woman and they probably needed a ride to the hospital. Oh, great, Isabella must have called you. Uh, yeah, can I put her in the back? Uh, usually I'd help you load her in the ambulance, but it looks like you got this. Yeah, I got this. It's like carrying an ant. She's so light. Thank you, Louisa. Oh, you're welcome, and I'll be sitting right next to you during the ambulance ride. All right, to the hospital we go. Oh, 
okay, Maribel. Don't worry, you're in good hands. Everything's gonna be okay. I hope so, but what do you think happened to that guy over there? Oh, Maribel, you're still keeping your sense of humor even when you're in the hospital. Oh, here comes the doctor. Okay, Maribel, now tell me what hurts and what happened. You stepped on a bucket? <laughs> Were you having too much fun at the playground? Ha, very funny. No, there was this little girl and she was struggling to take turns and she kicked the bucket up in the air and I didn't see it and I stepped right on it. It felt like I twisted my ankle and then woo! It hurt. Okay, so we need to do an x-ray of that ankle and I see you have a little scrape on your cheek. Okay, we'll just clean it up a little bit, put a little bit of medicine on it, and then put a band-aid on. Ooh, a face band-aid. I look tough. Ooh, okay. I need to stop talking. That hurts my ankle. Don't worry, I'll take the x-ray in just one moment. I just need to get your vitals first. Okay, let me listen to your heart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, can you take a deep breath in? <gasps> and out. And another deep breath. Okay, sounds good. Do you have any pain when you breathe? Nope, just my ankle. Okay, let me just get a few vitals here. Your resting heart rate is fine, not elevated at all. Let me check your blood pressure. It's a little elevated, but you did just get an injury, so that's kind of normal. We'll check it at the end of your appointment. Okay, now I'm just going to take a quick x-ray of your ankle and your foot. What do you see, Doc? Okay, I do see something, but let me give you a quick lesson. A quick lesson? Yep, a quick lesson with my buddy Fred here. Oh, hey Fred. So as you can see, we can see bone, muscle, and nerves on him. And that's all under our skin. That's right. And sometimes with an injury like yours, you can pull a muscle or pull a tendon. And well, that's not what happened to you. Okay, okay. On his legs, we see these nerves, and sometimes you can pinch a nerve, and that hurts too. Oh, so that happened to me? No, that didn't happen to you. Okay, what's going on? Well, let's look under the muscle and under the nerves at his bones. So you have seven bones in your ankle. Seven bones in my ankle? That's right, they're pretty small. And out of seven, you broke two. Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. So what's next? I'm going to put a cast on your ankle, send you home in a wheelchair, and in a day or two, you can start using crutches, but try to rest as much as possible. And in about a month, we may be able to take the cast off. Okay, you get your choice of pink, purple, or a white cast. Ooh, purple, please. Good choice, my favorite color. Okay, we're just getting ready. We're putting it in the cast mold here. Okay, one side is ready to roll, and the other side. Okay, we're just going to squeeze this around your ankle and your leg, and now the other side. Okay, okay, let me just adjust this a little bit. All right, and you are ready to rock your new cast. Whoa, it covers part of my foot and part of my leg. Yes, we have to stabilize your ankle so the cast is a little bigger than your ankle to keep everything in place. Ooh, the gift store. Let's see, I could get a drink, flowers, chips, little teddy bear, and I'm getting Maribel this balloon. Wait a minute. All those things are for Maribel, right? And not for yourself? Oh yeah, of course for Maribel, <laughs> not for me. All right, let's go to her room and visit with her. Hope she's okay. Yeah, I hope so too. All right, one last thing before you leave. Let me check your blood pressure again. Ah, perfect. Okay, so here are your crutches and they should be coming with a wheelchair at any moment. Oh, and I think you have some visitors here. All right, well, I have to run. It's been my pleasure taking care of you, Maribel. Thanks, Doc, you're the best. You're welcome. Remember to come back next week for a follow-up appointment. Special delivery for a special patient. Oh, Isabella, thank you. Here's a teddy bear for you and some flowers. Wow, thank you. And I brought you a balloon. Whoa, look at your cast. That is so cool. Oh, do you feel okay? I'm a little sore, but I'll be just fine. Oh, good. Hey, I'll carry your balloon for you. Oh, look, you have another guest. I wonder who that could be. Hi, hi, how are you feeling? I was just telling everybody I'm a little sore, but I'm gonna be just fine. I am so, so sorry. I made you a card. Here you go. Aw, that's so sweet. Your card says, 
Dear Maribel, I'm sorry I threw a fit. I promise to take turns from now on. So sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, and I just dropped your flowers. It's okay, but can you guys give me a hand getting in the wheelchair? Thanks, guys. I've got some pretty cool wheels. Oh, don't forget your flowers. Your teddy bear. Oh, and I found your shoe. You need your other shoe. Now let's get you home. What you need is some of your mom's healing soup. Yeah, let's go home. Come on, everybody. Bye. Antonio, what are you watching on your iPad? Oh, Mom, I'm watching adorable little dogs do the funniest things. They are so cool. Aw, oh, that sounds adorable. Hey, Camillo, thanks so much for making cupcakes. Oh, you're welcome, Mom. They're almost ready. I heard someone say cupcakes. Ooh, yummy cupcakes. Just before we go to the playground, this is going to be awesome. Okay, everyone, here are yummy cupcakes right out of the oven. Ooh, I would love a yummy chocolate cupcake. Okay, here you go. Ooh, this strawberry banana cupcake looks wonderful. Thank you, Camilo. You're welcome. Hey, guys, come and eat. Cupcakes? Yes, I heard them cooking. Delicious. Oh, yes, cupcakes. This is by far going to be the best part of today. What do you mean by that, Uncle Bruno? Oh, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Ooh, time to scarf down this delicious strawberry cupcake. Yummy, yummy. Ooh. That was delicious. Hey guys, where's Louisa and Isabella? They're missing out on the delicious cupcakes. Louisa is sleeping in a little bit. I can hear her snoring. Oh, it's so nice that she finally gets to rest a little bit. And yeah, I hear the bathtub. Isabella's in the bathtub. Well, she needs to hurry and get out of the bathtub so we can go to the park. I'll go get them. Casita's gotten so fancy with this new elevator. Up I go. Hey, you guys, it's time to get ready to go to the park. I have my eyes closed. It's okay. I'm covered in bubbles. All right, bubble girl, here's the deal. You have about five minutes to get out of that bath. Get ready to go to the park. Okay, Maribel, thanks for letting me know. Oh, and there are cupcakes downstairs, too. Cupcakes? Well, why didn't you say so? I'm hopping right out of this bathtub. <laughs> Oh, sleepyhead Louisa, it's time to wake up. Can I have just five more minutes? Well, if you wait five more minutes, there may be no cupcakes left. Cupcakes, cupcakes, whoa, oh, oh, oh. I'm up, I'm up, I'm ready for some delicious cupcakes. Ah, oh, I'm so relieved there is a cupcake left for me. Cupcakes are the most delicious food on the planet. Yeah, you know, I don't really like cupcakes. What? I love cupcakes. They are the best. Antonio, are you excited to go to the playground? Yeah, but are you nervous about going to the playground? Psh, why would I be nervous? Um, because last time we were there, a little girl threw a tantrum, kicked a bucket, and you tripped on it and broke your leg. Yeah, that was really bad luck. I'm sure nothing like that will ever happen again. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Uh, what did you just say, Bruno? I heard, and, and trust me, you don't want to know. Okay, I don't want it to rain on my day, so I'm going to stay calm and go to the park and have a fun time for Antonio. Did somebody say my name? Yes, honey, we were just talking about what a fun time we're going to have at the playground. Are you ready to go? Yeah, Mom, I am so ready. Let's go to the playground. All right, you heard the boy. Come on, girls, finish up those cupcakes. It's time to go to the playground. Soon she will not be so happy. Let's go. Wow, there are a lot of kids at the playground today. Oh, Maribel, are you okay? Are you nervous because of what happened last time? Yeah, 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 I'm totally okay. No, 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 no. My sandbox, my sandbox. Ah! No. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Maribel, are you okay? Maribel? Maribel? Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. All right, let's go. Antonio, come have some fun. Oh yeah, this is going to be awesome. Oh, hi Maribel, it's so good to see you again. Hello, remember me? I got a haircut. Oh yeah, I remember you. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, and I learned how to control my temper. So don't worry, you won't get hurt today. At least not by me. I'm not worried about being hurt. 
But I will just stand right back here, far, far away from the playground. I've had a vision, and I feel like I need to talk to Maribel and Isabella. Oh, Bruno, it's best if we don't know our future. I know, I know. I'll just keep it to myself. Oh. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Wait, where is she? <laughs> She'll never find me up here. Where are you? Are you in the sand somewhere? Cuckoo Gaga. Oh, thanks, little sister. Are you trying to find her for me? Cuckoo Gaga? <laughs> I'll take that to be a yes. Okay, I don't think she's in the sand. Oh, Antonio, what's going on? Oh, not much. Just enjoying this day at the playground. So you're looking for your friend? Yeah, we're playing hide and go seek. Oh, such a fun game. But I haven't seen your friend. Good luck finding her. Okay, thanks, Antonio. <laughs> she will never, ever find me. Antonio, do you want to swing? Oh, no, I'm good. When the baby's done, I'm going to play in the sandbox. No, I want to play in the sandbox. Oh, here we go again. Just kidding. You can have your turn in the sandbox when the baby's done. Cuckoo gaga. I have learned how to share, and I have so many more friends now that I share. It's awesome. You know what else is awesome? I don't know what. Slides. They're so much fun. Woohoo! Antonio, I think she's all done in the sandbox if you want to play in it. Oh, super cool. Thanks. I like digging in the sand, making all kinds of shapes in here. Oh, starfish. Oh, it's a turtle. <laughs> this is so much fun. I'm glad you're having fun, honey. Just don't get a bunch of sand in your clothes and your shoes. <laughs> there was an entire beach worth of sand in your shoes last time. I know, I know. Sorry about that. Hey, maybe we can play together. That will be awesome. I like to jump in the sand. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, boy. You're going to have a lot of sand in your shoes. Mirabel, Mirabel. I couldn't help but notice that you're kind of uh, hiding out back here. Everything okay? Yeah, just staying out of harm's way. Oh, Mirabel, you'll be fine. That little girl is like totally nice now. She's sharing, taking turns. It's awesome. Yeah, I noticed that. I guess it's safe for me to walk around the playground. You guys, you guys, I still cannot find my friend. It's making me so sad. <laughs> Don't cry. We'll help you look. Oh, no, she's crying. Maybe I should hop down. Hello? Hello? Are you in here hiding? No, I already checked there. And what about back here? I checked back there, too. And no luck. All right, Mirabel, come on. Maybe we can play in the sandbox together. You know, that's not a bad idea. But first, let's relax under this tree. It's kind of hot out here in the sun. Oh, that's a great idea. Three... Two. It is so cool under this tree. One. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you guys down there. Uh, it's okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I feel fine. But how about you guys? I feel so bad. Uh, yeah, I think I'm okay. I'm not so okay. Oh, no. Mirabelle again. Yeah. Oh, I'm just trying to sit up here. Oh, oh. My head kind of hurts. I think I landed on your head. I am so sorry. It's okay, but I think I better lie down. Yep, that's better. Okay, we better go get some help. Oh boy. Wait, the ambulance is already here? I didn't even get a chance to tell anyone we needed help. I called it like 10 minutes ago. Oh, Bruno, you knew this was going to happen and you didn't tell us? Uh, I just, I'm so sorry. I just don't know what to do sometimes. Oh, I understand. That would be hard. Yeah, let's get Mirabelle some help. Okay, everyone, I'm here to help. Who do we have here? I'm Mirabelle. Okay, Mabel, I'm here to help you. Oh, excuse me. Her name is actually Mirabelle, not Mabel. I'm sorry about that. I misheard you. And can someone tell me what happened here? She was sitting under the tree with Isabella. And suddenly this kid came flying out of the sky, crashing down on them. And she landed on Mirabelle's head. And a little bit on Isabella, too. I wonder if she's okay. Okay, first let me help Mirabelle. And then, Isabella, I'd like you to stand by so I can help you as well. And where's the little girl that fell from the sky? It wasn't me causing trouble this time. It was me. Am I in trouble? Oh, goodness, no. It sounds like it was an accident. But I'm going to need to make sure you're okay as well. Mirabelle, I need you to get in the ambulance. Can you stand up? I can, but I don't really feel like it. No worries. I can just scoop her right up. All right, where do you need her? Oh, wow, you sure are strong. I need her right over here. Thank you. Okay. Easy to... Oh, I am so sorry that never happens. 
Uh, I think she's okay. It's okay, Louisa. Are you losing your strength? No, I think I ate too many sugary cupcakes and now I'm uh, having a sugar crash. Hang in there, Louisa. Don't worry about me. We need to make sure you're okay. Yes, Mirabelle, can you tell me how you're feeling? What are your symptoms? I have a headache, my neck's kind of sore, and my vision is a little blurry. Yeah, it sounds like you may have a concussion. Okay, let me listen to your heart. Uh-huh, okay, and take a deep breath. <sighs> Another deep breath. <sighs> your lungs sound okay. Do you have any pain in your lungs? No, not at all. Wah, wah. Uh, why are you crying like a baby? Mm, that's not me. Wah, wah. Bath time. Um, hello, you guys. Somebody missing a baby. This baby's trying to take a bath in my sink. Oh, I am so sorry about that. Come on, little one, you little mischievous baby. Come on. I am so sorry. That won't happen again. It's okay. All right, Mirabelle, I know it might be a little hard to do. I'm going to help you sit up right here, okay? Now, look over here at this eye chart. I want you to read this first line right up here for me. Uh, W-Z. Okay, and can you read the next line? Not at all. Super duper blurry. Oh, and I think I want to lie down again. Oh, okay, I don't want to alarm you guys. I'm alarmed, I'm alarmed! Okay, she may have a concussion. I'm going to go ahead and take her. Are you able to get to the hospital by yourself and get checked out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel pretty good. And I'm going to check you just real quickly. Does anything hurt? Nope, not at all. Okay, open your eyes real wide. Uh-huh. Okay, yep. Pupils are fine. Okay, listen to your heart. And take a deep breath in. <gasps> and out. <sighs> in. <gasps> and out. <sighs> okay, little girl, you are very, very lucky that you are okay. Next time you jump down from a tree, what are you going to do? Say, woohoo! Here I come! No, 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 no. What are you going to do? Are you going to look down below you and make sure it's safe to jump down? Oh, yeah. I should probably make sure the coast is clear and that there's no one under the tree before I jump down. Excellent, excellent. Okay, you're free to go. Okay, I'm going to take her to the hospital. If you guys could get Isabella there, we'll check her out, and I will see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, we'll just close up the doors. Oh, and in case I didn't mention it, please do not let Isabella drive. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. I'll be carrying her to the hospital. I'll meet you there. Wow, she's really strong. All right, let's go. All right, Mirabelle, I'm just going to get you to your room. It looks like you already have visitors here. Wait a minute. How did you get to the hospital faster than I did? I was driving an ambulance. I ran carrying my sister, remember? I do remember. That's why I'm so surprised to see you here. How long have you been here? Oh, like a, a solid five minutes or so. All right, Mirabelle, Isabella, the doctor will be in to see you shortly. Hope you feel better. Take care. Well, hello, you two. According to my chart here, it says that you are both injured by a little girl. What exactly happened? She jumped out of the tree and landed on my head. Poor Mirabelle got the worst of it, but I did get um kicked and... I'm a little sore from it. Well, that does not sound like a fun day at the park. And Mirabelle, your neck is sore, you have a headache, and your vision is blurry. We're going to need to do a CAT scan. What? What? Cats? They're going to scan me? No cats will be scamming you. It's called a CAT scan or a CT scan. It's kind of like an x-ray, but you just get to lie down, take it easy, and we'll take a look at your head and neck to make sure nothing's wrong. Oh, okay. But first, let me just double check you, Isabella. So tell me what hurts. Really? There's just a spot on my head that kind of hurts. Oh, yep. I see the problem. You'll be needing a band-aid, but let me just check your eyes. Okay. Good. All right, let me see here. Okay, that's a good resting heart rate. That's good. Blood pressure is perfect. And I don't think we need to do any x-rays for you today. If you would just sit up for me. Okay. Actually gonna clean your whole forehead to make sure it's nice and clean. And this does not require stitches. Just this heavy duty band-aid should do the trick. Now keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't get red or see any signs of infection and you should be just fine. Okay, thanks doctor. Please take good care of my sister, Maribel. I will. Time to roll her back to radiation. Can I take her back there? Yes, please, please, please. I'm, I'm feeling a little nervous. 
Oh, of course. Yes, you can have a friendly face with you. Oh, boy. I'm feeling a little nervous. It's okay, little sister. You're going to totally rock this. You got this. Don't be scared. Okay, okay. I'm going to just try to relax. I'd really like to stay in here and hold her hand if that's okay. I'm so sorry. Our policy is we cannot have anyone but the patient in here. Oh, okay. Mirabel, I'll be right outside the door. If you need me, just scream and I'll bust right through. Oh, oh, I don't think we really want to do that. I know, I know. I'm, I'm kind of kidding. Kind of. Don't worry, Louisa. I will be just fine. I'm in good hands. <laughs> you are in good hands. And I'm going to be sitting right over here looking at my computer. Your job is to just relax and I'll be over before you even know it. Okay, cool. Thanks, doctor. All right, Mirabel. Here we go. Just need to push these buttons here. You're doing great, Mirabel. Thanks, it's kind of weird in here. Almost done, Mirabel. Okay. You did an excellent job. Okay, I just need to wait on the results and then I'll let you know what I find. Hey, little sister, how did it go? It wasn't bad at all. It was kind of interesting. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, her head is okay, but her neck, mm-hmm, okay. Her ribs are fine, nothing broken, nothing bruised, but okay, I'm gonna have to break the bad news to her. Okay, the results are in and I have good news and I have bad news. Uh, good news first, I guess? All right, well, there are no broken bones in your ribs, your neck, and your skull looks just fine. Okay, and the bad news? We could not find your brain. What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's just a little doctor's humor. There was a little damage to your tendons and your ligaments in your neck, so I need to put a special neck brace on you. Oh, that's all? Yeah, that's all. No signs of a concussion. The only thing is this neck brace may be a little uncomfy and you need to be on bed rest for the next week. I can do that. That's actually kind of good news. I've been a little extra tired lately. Okay, let me see if you're steady on your feet. Can you stand up for me? I'm pretty sure I can. Whoa, whoa, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, great. Do you feel dizzy at all? Nope, not at all. Okay, let me put this neck brace on you. I heard you liked kitty cats, so you are getting a special kitty cat neck brace. And you just put it around the front here. There you go. And you are all set. Okay, come back and see me in a week, and I'll make sure everything is healing up nicely. Oh, cool. Thank you, doctor. Oh, and there's a special visitor here to see you. Let me go get her. Hello, oh no, look at you, you're a mess. I didn't think I looked that bad. Oh, no, I just mean the collar on your dress. It's kind of a mess right now. Oh, I can just push that right down. My neck brace made it curl up under that. Yep, oh, well, nope, never mind. Anywho, I brought these flowers for you and this special balloon for you. Oh gosh, you didn't have to get all these things. Yes, I did. I'm so sorry I hurt you. And here's a little teddy bear for you, too. Oof. I am so sorry, and I'm going to be so much more careful next time I'm on the playground. Oh, Isabella, I have something for you. You only get one thing since I didn't hurt you as badly. Here, it's a giant teddy bear. That is adorable. Thank you. All right, guys. Take care. I'm heading back to the playground. Anyone in the mood for mom's special cooking? You know I am. Me too. I'm ready to get this neck brace off. All right, sisters. Let's go. <laughs> Come. Stop running yeah. away from the farm. Come back here. Come yeah. on, come back here. Whoa, why did you stop? Whoa. Oh, oh, my ankle. My ankle. Yeah. Oh, no, come back. Ow, ow, ow. Louisa, I heard everything. Are you okay? Do you need to see the doctor? Uh, uh, absolutely. My ankle hurts and my wrist hurts. Okay, let me just try to pick you up. Uh, 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 nope, nope, that's not going to happen. Okay, I'll call the doctor. Uh, don't call the doctor. I just need my mom's special soup. Did you say something about mom? Oh no, what's wrong? She fell down and hurt her ankle and her wrist. Louisa, this is terrible timing. Mom's away on vacation. Oh, I totally forgot. Okay, call the doctor. Okay, hurry. Let's go call the doctor. Do, do, do. Oh, seriously? A giant spider? Oh, come on. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Come on, get away, get away. Antonio. Come talk to this spider. Ah, look at this adorable little spider. Hey, you little guy, what are you doing? He's scaring me is what he's doing. He won't talk to me. This is so strange. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. I was just pranking you. Whoa, it looks like you are in some serious pain. I am Maribel and Dolores went to go call the doctor. Oh, what about your mom? She's out of town. Oh, man, bummer. <laughs> Will somebody get that screaming goat, Luisa? You're laying down on the job. Come on, get up. She's hurt. Oh, no, she's hurt. We need to call the doctor. I already called the doctor. Oh, okay, but the doctor is sick. What do you mean the doctor is sick? It's okay, it's okay. There's a different kind of doctor that we're going to take Luisa to. Okay, phew. As long as there's another doctor, I'll go get my stretcher. You have a stretcher? When you worry about everything like I do, you're prepared for every situation. Yes, I have a stretcher. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> oh, now you decided to come back to the farm. Hey, little guy. What's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, you feel bad. It's okay. She's going to be okay. Louisa, he feels so bad for making you fall down and get hurt. And he promises not to run away again. Okay, goat. But I really need to get to the doctor. Okay, good thing I have this giant stretcher ready to roll. Let's get Luisa on it. How are we going to lift Luisa? That is one helpful goat. Thank you. Yes, thank you, little buddy. Uh, so are you guys going to push me to the doctor's office? It's awfully far away. Oh, well, the doctor we're seeing is right down the street. Uh, the only doctor right down the street is the veterinarian. You're taking me to a veterinarian? Yeah, but he's the best veterinarian in town. He's the only veterinarian in town. <laughs> You're going to be fine. Nothing to worry about, I hope. Okay, Louisa, we're here. Oh, what a lovely waiting room. Oh, hey, guys. Fancy meeting you here. Hey, where's your pet? Oh, hello. By the way, you have a cute little dog. Ruff, ruff. We don't have a pet with us. The doctor is seeing my sister. <laughs> well, that's a new one. Hope she's okay. We hope so, too. She's so big and strong, it's really weird to see her hurting so badly. Do you think we'll have to wait very long for an appointment? Oh, no, you're the next appointment. I'm just waiting for them to ring up my bill. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> this little puppy ate a sock. Can you believe that? Oh, little puppy, socks are not food. I hope your puppy's okay. He'll be just fine. Hey, I think the doctor's ready to see you. Okay, guys, go ahead and wheel me in. All right, let's go. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay, let's see. So my next patient, okay, possible sprained or broken ankle and sprained or broken wrist. Oh, I sure hope this is one cooperative animal. Well, hello, doc. Oh, that's no animal. Ha, huh, I'm no animal. Didn't they tell you that you're going to be seeing a human person? No, they didn't tell me, but I'm happy to help you. Okay, great. I'd usually tell you to get on the exam table, but since you're not an animal, you can just stay in that stretcher. I'm going to first go ahead and take your blood pressure. Okay, just take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, very good. Your blood pressure is normal. Okay, I'm going to measure your heart rate and your oxygen saturation. I just need to slide this on your finger. Okay, very good. Everything is looking fine. So we won't be needing this since your oxygen is just fine. Can I try it on just for fun? Yeah, but I think it's a little big for your face. <laughs> yeah, I think so. This must be for one big animal. As that donkey was trying to tell you, yes, it fits on horses and donkeys and cows. Oh, I hope you washed it since your last patient. We wash and sanitize everything, don't worry. Okay, I understand your ankle hurts and your wrist. Let me take a few quick x-rays. Okay, so first your ankle. Okay, and now your wrist. Okay, so you probably just sprained your wrist. It's not broken, but I'll go ahead and bandage it up and try to not use it for a couple of weeks. Oh boy, that's going to be hard. Don't worry, Louisa. We'll help out around the farm. You just take it easy and get all better. Now, how's her ankle? She has a hairline fracture. That means it's broken. Broken! Yes, but it's not a bad break. I'm going to go ahead and put you in a cast, and I'll check you in two weeks. Oh, wow, Louisa. We're going to take good care of you. I'm going to call Mom and tell her to come home and cook for you so you feel better soon. Thanks, Maribel. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let me get my bandage for your wrist. You don't need this on you anymore. Okay, well, go ahead and wrap up your wrist. There we go. Okay, we'll just cut the extra fabric, and we'll use a little tape on it. 
Okay, thanks. What about my ankle? How about a nice purple cast to match your skirt? It is my favorite color. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make your cast now. Okay, we'll just put it on this side and on this side. Okay, there you go. I'm going to send you home with your shoe. Don't want to forget that. <laughs> wow, the cast's a lot bigger than I thought. Well, we have to keep your ankle completely still so the cast goes around your foot and all the way up to your knee. Louisa, Louisa, I came as soon as I heard. Oh, are you okay? That's a really big cast. I'll be okay. I just need to rest a little while. Hey, did you bring me flowers? Yes, these flowers are for you. Here you go. <gasps> Your wrist, too? Yeah, it was quite a tumble. We'll take good care of you, and as soon as Mom is home, you'll be feeling a lot better. Yeah, there's nothing like a mother's TLC to make you feel better. TLC and magical food. Magical food? Oh, you'll see at the next appointment. I bet Louisa will be feeling much better. Oh, I can't wait to see. So is she getting doggy shots too? Rabies? Distemper? Ha ha, very funny, Isabella. How about dog kibble? Do we need to pick some up for you? Very funny. Let's just go home. All right, let's go. Thanks, Doc. Okay, see you in two weeks. So will you be going potty outside? Will you be barking for dinner? Very funny, Isabella. Time to get my morning started. I need to brush my teeth. Okay, I got my toothpaste. Squeeze them on my toothbrush. And now I brush. Ow, 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 ow. Why is brushing teeth so painful? Are you finally done in the bathroom? I would like to brush my teeth and blow dry my hair and put on my face cream and put on my makeup. You know, my 17 step beauty routine. Oh yeah, I'm actually all done. Oh, boy does brushing your teeth hurt. Brushing your teeth hurts? It shouldn't hurt at all. Well, it used to not hurt, but woo-wee, sure it is hurt bad now. Uh, Maribel, I think it's time for you to see the dentist. The dentist? No, I haven't been to the dentist in years. Uh, that may be your problem. Come on, let's go. No, you can't make me. No, and run and hide from the dentist. Ah, oh, come back here, Maribel. Oh, I know. I'm going to hide in the camper. She'll never find me here. Oh, I'm going to hide behind the shower curtain. There's no way she'll find me back here. Maribel! Maribel, come on, you need to go to the dentist. I called the dentist's office and they have an appointment, but we need to get there in the next hour. Where is she? I can't find her anywhere. Perfect hiding spot, but, uh, oh no, here she comes. I better run. She cannot find me. What is going on? I could have sworn I heard Maribel. Maribel, where are you? She won't find me if I climb up the back of the camper. Maribel, Maribel. Maribel, where are you? We need to hurry up and go or else we're going to miss this dentist appointment. Where did you go? Ha 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 ha! She won't find me up here and boy is it super comfy in this sleeping bag. I'll just sleep up here all day long and never have to go to the... Maribel, is that you? I'm coming up. Oh no, oh no, here she comes! I know you're up there. I'm coming up. Time for plan B. Jump into the pool. Here I go! That was not very graceful. Maribel, you splashed me. Come on, time to go. I have no more patience for you running and hiding. Oh, okay. I'm too tired to run and hide any longer. Fine, we'll go to the dentist. Now, Rebecca, tell me how you lost your tooth. I was eating an apple and it came right out. It was stuck in my apple. And now forever and ever, I will have a missing front tooth. Oh, no, 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 no. That was just your baby tooth. It's pretty common for them to fall out when you're eating apples, especially if it was already loose. Was your tooth already loose? It was super loose, super wiggly jiggly. So that means it was ready to fall out and that apple helped just yank it right out. Oh, is the tooth fairy going to come? Well, you have to put your tooth under your pillow and the tooth fairy should come. Away, away, away! While you're here, let me just quickly check your teeth. Open up and say, ah. Ah! Okay, okay, everything's looking really good. You have a bunch of baby teeth that are going to fall out, so don't worry when they do. When your baby teeth fall out, your adult teeth will then grow in. And when your baby teeth fall out, the tooth fairy comes. Away, away, away! You were so brave and did such a good job today. You get to go home with this toothbrush and toothpaste. Yes, 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 yes! Come on, Maribel, come take a seat. No, it's okay. I'm pretty happy just pacing back and forth. 
Oh, Mirabelle, you're here. Great. I will be with you in just one second. I'm wrapping things up with my other patient. Oh, 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 no need to rush. Yeah, take your time. It's okay if you run out of time and you never have to see me today. Oh, that won't happen. I made time for you today. I'll see you very soon. Oh, great. I can hardly wait. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Oh, she's so silly. What's wrong with her, doctor? Well, she's a little nervous to be here. Why? It's super easy to come to the dentist. I know, I know. Some people just get super duper nervous. Oh, great. Look, here are some teeth she must have plucked out of somebody's mouth. Maribel, that's a toy for kids to play with so they can learn about brushing their teeth. Oh, I see. Was she trying to make this place fun for kids? Ha! Huh. Well, I had lots of fun. How is that possible? It looks like she removed a tooth. Oh, no, no, no. I was eating an apple and my tooth came right out. Ouch, that must have really hurt. It didn't hurt at all, silly. It was my baby tooth, and it was time for it to come out. Oh, yeah, I remember when my baby teeth came out. Yeah, 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 it's awesome. And then the tooth fairy comes. Aw, that is fun when the tooth fairy comes. So you actually like coming to the dentist? Yeah, it's super cool. The dentist is so nice, it never hurts, and I get to take home some toothpaste and a toothbrush. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, I guess I'm going to be brave and go see the dentist now. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Thanks, little girl. All right, brave Mirabelle, you're next. There must be some other Mirabelle here because I am certainly not brave. But thanks, dentist, for trying to build me up. Trust me, this is going to be a lot easier than you think. Okay, Mirabelle, you can take a seat. Uh, I'd rather stand if that's okay. Wait, why would you like to stand? That way I can run if it gets, um, too painful. You'll be much more comfortable if you sit down. Okay, but I want to sit on the floor. Um, okay, whatever makes you most comfortable. Are you comfy? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, I gotta ask, why sit on the floor? Because that way if I pass out, I don't have far to fall. <laughs> You're going to be just fine. Let me go get something. Okay, I'm just gonna use this giant drill on you. Ah! <laughs> just some dentist humor, I'm just kidding. How about this big giant toothbrush? Okay, now you're just being silly. I am, I am. Go ahead, open up and say ah, and I'm just going to take a look around. Here goes nothing, ah! Okay, okay, uh-huh, I see. Okay. Is it bad, Doc? Well, it's not exactly all good news. You have a few cavities, and that's why you're having so much sensitivity when you're brushing. Cavities! Oh! Are you okay? Yes, yes, yes. That was just my worst fear. Okay, I'm okay. All right, I want you to look at this hippo mouth. Hippo? Mouth. Okay. So if you look at these teeth, they're nice white teeth. And those are the ones that Mr. Hippo did a good job brushing. And then, well, back here, hmm. <laughs> There's some cavities. Oh, and that's what I have. Yes, and a lot of people get them in the back of their teeth because easiest teeth to brush are in the front. And sometimes people don't get all the way in the back, and if they do, they forget to get the inside or all the way around the back, right back here. I have to admit, I really focus on just brushing my front teeth and not the back. Exactly, and that's why you have cavities, but it's okay, we'll take care of them. How do you do it? Well, we do need to drill out the cavities. Drill out the cavities? Yeah, but we make sure you don't feel any pain at all. I promise. <sighs> okay. So first I'll put a little numbing cream on. Go, we're gonna get everything nice and numb. Okay, and we'll just do a little drill on this side and on this side. How are you feeling? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm like totally fine. Great, we're almost done. Okay, we're just gonna fill those teeth. And now your cavities are gone. How was that? That was so easy. Thank you. You are welcome and you get to go home with toothpaste and a toothbrush as well. Always the best part. Here you go. Thanks, Doc. That was pretty awesome. You're welcome. And remember the best way to prevent cavities is to brush every night and every morning. That's right. And come back every six months for a dental cleaning. And so we can make sure no new cavities are forming. Oh, okay, I'll do that, thank you. Well, 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 look who's here, how did it go? It was actually horrible. Really? Just kidding, it was awesome, it didn't hurt at all. I had cavities, oh, I thought you probably had cavities. Yeah, I had two, and she filled them, and now they're all taken care of. Awesome, and did you learn anything important about brushing your teeth? Yeah, I never have to brush my teeth again. What? I'm just kidding. I'm going to brush every morning and every night. 
Very good. Come on, let's go home. All right. Okay, time to brush my teeth again. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, all done. Seriously, it still hurts when you brush your teeth. I'm just kidding, it feels totally fine. Aren't you glad you went to the dentist? Yes, I am, and I'll go every six months now. Way to go, Mirabelle! It's a beautiful day on the rescue ranch today. Here you go, sweetie. Here's your morning bottle. That should make you feel much better and help you recover from your broken foot. Yes, I have not forgotten about you guys. Here you go, here's your food. How are the best little birdies in the whole world doing today? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Great. There's a whole bunch of worms in the mud pit. Enjoy. Chirp, 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 chirp. Don't worry. Your bottle's coming right up. I just heated it up for you. Here you go, little baby squirrel. Now your tummy should be nice and full. Oh, meow, meow. oh I see you down there. I did not forget about you, little guy. Here you go. Here's your bowl of food. Looks like it's gonna be a nice calm day today. Can somebody help me? Oh dear, I wonder what's going on. I need some help. I need help for one of my pets. It's very, very sick. Is it your capybara? It looks very grumpy. No, he always looks like that. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. It's my snake. My snake is upside down and it can't turn itself right side up. Oh dear, it does have a case of the topsy turvies. Can anything be done to help? Well, let me take a closer look. Easy, easy. Sorry, he's a little extra grumpy since he's been upside down. It's okay, I would feel a little grumpy too. Here you go, easy, easy, I got you, I got you. Easy does it, easy does it. There, now you're right side up. Oh no, that's not good. I'm going to very gently listen to your heart. And let me take a close look at your scales. Okay, okay. Ooh, what is this green stuff? Oh, that's just a little slime. A little slime? You had your snake in slime? Okay, walk me through this day exactly what happened. It all started this morning at my tree house. Ah, what a beautiful day. Hey, I have an idea. I'd love to make a giant pool of slime. It is slime time. Hey. Do you think I should make some slime? <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Let me see what Mr. Snake thinks. Do you think I should make some slime? <laughs> Ooh, that's a yes. Let me see what Mr. Tortoise thinks. Hey, Mr. Tortoise, do you think I should make some slime? Yes, I do. Cool, thanks, Mr. Tortoise. Carry hands, can you mix up some slime? Absolutely, let's do this. I just need a little green glue, some activator, and mix, mix, mix. Now I have my slime. Well, Antonio, what are you waiting for? Jump in the slime, have some fun. Awesome, whoa! Down the slide and into the whoa, slime! Come on guys, why don't you join me? walking me through that. Um, was the slime cold by any chance? Yes, the slime was very cold. So Antonio, as you know, snakes are reptiles and that means they are cold blooded so they cannot regulate their temperature. Yeah, but this capybara didn't have any problem. Exactly, that capybara is a mammal. That means it's warm blooded. It can regulate its own temperature. So when your little snake friend here, was playing in the slime, his temperature dropped quickly and was the same temperature as the slime. Let me take his temperature real fast. Oh dear, yes, that is a very low temperature for a snake. We need to warm up this snake. Stat! This probably seems a little unconventional, but I have this poppet and I have warmed it up and the warm air stays inside of all these little poppet holes. 
I'll gently place the puppet on Mr. Snake. And now what? We wait just a couple of minutes and he should be all warmed up and feeling much better. A few minutes later. Okay, a couple minutes have passed. Can we check on him? Yes, let's go ahead and see how he's doing. <gasps> Look! <laughs> oh yeah? You feel much better now? <laughs> awesome! Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks, Doctor. I'm so happy I was able to help. And you're welcome back anytime. I think all the rescue animals would love to have someone around who speaks their language. It's true. Antonio, can you hear me? Of course I can. I totally understand you. That's totally nuts. Oh, I love nuts. They're so tasty. Can you understand me? Yes, and I know that you love to eat nuts and that they're totally tasty. No way. This is so cool. You're very lucky to be able to talk to animals. Maybe I need to hire you. Then you can tell me all the animals' complaints and I can help them better. You got yourself a deal, doctor. Thanks for taking care of Mr. Snake. Tss, tss. You're welcome, and thanks everyone for watching. See you next time.